Hi, my name is Robin and I'm one of the talking heads behind NZ Pocket Guide, New Zealand's largest travel guide. Over the past 10 years in New Zealand, I was lucky enough to do well over 600 activities, so many so that I stopped counting. In fact, you can see my partner Loa and I doing 400 of those activities on this channel. But now, it's time to sort through them all and rank my top 101 favorite activities to do in New Zealand. Today we'll be covering number 50 to 41. There will be some free one, there will be some paid one, and there will be some that you suggested. So get busy in the comments telling me which one are your favorite activities in New Zealand and let's get started. At number 50 we have in getting off road. There is some epic places to go off road in New Zealand such as in Hamner Springs but the best one is in Greymouth with on your bike. The whole area is absolutely amazing and it feels that you couldn't get into this place if you didn't have those quiet bikes. Plus the guy down the tracks all himself. At number 49 we have the iconic at number 14 <laughs> at number 49 we have the iconic cathedral cove you can get there by boat you can get there by kayak and you can get there by foot i think my favorite is getting there by kayak i've done all three anyway check out all the white cliffs and the caves it looks amazing and narnia was filmed there At number 48, we have going on the jet boat excursion in the beautiful Fjordland National Park. Oh, the Mount Aspiring National Park. Anything at the bottom of the South Island is amazing. There are plenty of options over there, but the one starting in the house will take you to some pristine places that you feel like no one else have ever set foot to before. At number 47 we have Lake Matheson, it's basically where all the photos of the New Zealand postcard have been taken. Honestly this perfectly mirrored reflection lake is just amazing and you're absolutely gonna want to spend some time trying to take the perfect shot there. At number 46 we have escaping Auckland to the Hareki Gulf. You can check out Rangitoto Island but my favorite island will be Teri Teri Matangi. It's a bird paradise and there is so much to check out on this island. I wish the ferry was giving us more time there than just a day. At number 45 we have feeding the stingray in Gisborne. You can also do that in Lokmara in the Marlborough Sound but in Gisborne you really get up close and intimate with them as you can go during the low tide and literally you just wear some really long boots and hang out with the stingray. That's something you can do apparently. At number 44 we have visiting a high country farm. New Zealand is well known for its epic farming and visiting a high country farm will give you an insight into sheep shearing as well as dog rearing sheep around. It's amazing to see. Some good options are Walter Peak in Queenstown and Morley in the Canterbury. At number 43 we have one of the most epic museums I ever set foot into and that's the Te Papa Museum in Wellington. There are so many exhibitions, there are so many things to see there but the highlight has to be the colossal squid, a really really colossally big squid to check out. Anyway, you can literally spend a day on that museum and it's not a boring one. At number 42 we have horse trekking. My favorite has to be Peel Forest in the South Island. You can horse trek your way in many places in New Zealand such as River Valley as well as Haipara on the North Island. At number 41 we have stargazing in the International Dark Sky Reserve. 
That's right, New Zealand has an international dark sky reserve located on the South Island where all the light emission at night are regulated. Indeed, it makes for fantastic viewings of the stars. There are plenty of tools, you can check out us doing a few of those tools on YouTube and literally right now on this video. Alright, that's it for me today. Do you guys agree with my picks? There is a link right above my head to the full list with more information about each activity if you want to know more. Just a quick reminder that everybody is a winner here. With all the activities that I was lucky enough to do in New Zealand, making it to the top 101 is quite amazing, no matter the placement. Remember to hit me up in the comments below with your favorite things to do in New Zealand so I can mention you in an upcoming video where I'll be covering all your guys' suggestions. Hit like and subscribe to get notified when that video comes out and have fun exploring New Zealand.